Welcome to Album Flow. The Album Flow script set adds a lot of flexibility to InDesign and has tools that will really speed up your workflow, especially if you're using a lot of images in your designs. So let's get started and create an album. Basically all you have to do is just put in the numbers, uh, width and height of your spread, the safety edge, the trim or the bleed. In fact, based on those two numbers, the safety edge and the trim, it'll actually advise you on your margin. And in this case, it's suggesting you use a margin that's greater or equal to 0.25 inches. Now you might want a, a margin that's a little fuller. In this case, we're going to go 0.5 inches. Uh, number of pages, we're going to fill frames proportionally and click OK. So you notice here the, um, the album setup. We have our bleed between the red and the black. And between the black and the magenta is the margin. And that's the true margin, that uh, 0.5 inches it will have after the album's been trimmed. And then the, um, the cyan guides, that's showing our safety edge. We want to keep all the important details within that safety edge. Now, we may not always want to have those around. Uh, we don't have to use them in, unless they're really necessary. And so you can go to the layers palette and go ahead and toggle those on and off as needed. So I'll turn them off for now. And let's go ahead and go into Bridge and select some images. So let's uh, get this one of the Mother and the Bride. And then we'll add the dress here and some detail shots. And what we want to do is then think, how do we want to put these together? Kind of come up with a design in your mind. Go into InDesign. And with a couple of scripts, you can set up a, a real quick template with perfect symmetry and precision. I'm going to add a little color here to follow along. First thing I want to do is make a grid. And we're going to go six across and three down. Now I have a choice of having a different gutter for the, the row and the column. I'm just going to use the same 0.125 inches here. Next, um, I can go ahead and select frames. In fact, the ones on the right here, I can select them and say merge them together. And in this case, I'll merge these together and put in the photo of the mother and the bride. So I'll go up to Album Flow and just click on Merge Frames. And this is even faster with keyboard shortcuts. So see over here on the left, we'll put the dress there, keyboard shortcut. And you can see in no time at all, uh, you got a spread with perfect precision and, and symmetry. So we'll go ahead and empty out that color and uh, go over to Bridge. And if you're new to InDesign, all I'm doing is just tugging on these thumbnails and I'm going back into InDesign. And there they all line up right there in the cursor. In fact, you can flip through and look at them. And I'll just tap these frames and the images drop right on in. You see, it just, I mean, it can't get any easier than this. Um, I'll go ahead and hit A for adjust and just kind of uh, move this image over a little bit. That'll be fine. Um, we'll take the earrings, kind of adjust those a little bit. And the necklace, move that over. And the rings. And let's just take this dress up a hair. And we're done. So uh, this is, you know, perfect YouTube demo, real quick and easy, all set up, nice, clean and neat. But um, truthfully, when we're designing, we're often putting something down and then wanting to make some changes. And uh, this is where album flow comes in to make all the difference for you. It adds a lot of flexibility to design and it makes it actually makes it fun. So for starters, I'm going to take these on the left. Uh, the dress and these detail shots. I'm thinking they're a little too dominant for the spread. And what I want to do is just shrink down uh, this group here. And I'll just kind of toss it a little bit over to the side. Um, I want to make this a full bleed image. So I'm just going to drag this frame over here to the bleed lines. And again, if you're new to InDesign, um, the frames are just kind of like a, a window into the images. And you can adjust the, the images behind the frames. Now let's zoom in on these detail shots here. Uh, you, what you might have noticed is when I was resizing this group, um, in doing so, I was changing the distance between the frames. And if we want a professional, you know, professionally designed album, we're going to definitely want some consistency throughout our album and equal spacing. And so I certainly don't want to take the time to rebuild this group. Again, this is where album flow makes all the difference. I just go to set spacing. And it's retaining the last setting I had, 0.125 inches, and I click OK. Done. Uh, another change I might want to make, I might want to swap these bottom images on the right. Let's go to Album Flow, quick, uh, click Swap Images. And in fact, 
Zooming in on this one here, the ring, I want to make that a little bit larger. Uh, the groom actually designed these rings, and so maybe making them a little larger can draw our eye into them. And you just might be thinking now, wait, you just stretched that. Isn't that going to lower the quality? No. Um, all changes in InDesign are non-destructive. In fact, I can take these down to you know, the size of a, the head of a pen or something like that and bring it right back up and just perfect quality. Again, all the changes are non-destructive. So let's go ahead and take a look at this spread. And this isn't exactly what I intended. I, you know, zooming in, I couldn't really see the whole effect. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make these larger again. And so with the keyboard shortcut, I'm going to go ahead and center now. All right. And when I did, as you notice, it took into account this frame here. So again, let me show you that. Uh, I go up to Album Flow, click on Center on Page. And what it did was it took into account the edge here of the spread and the edge of the frame. And it centered for me. And then, of course, the keyboard, another keyboard shortcut to do the set spacing. And I'm done. In fact, I might just want to tweak that down a hair. Okay. And let's go ahead and center, set spacing, done. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I think, hey, that's great. But maybe I want it to be black and white. Now, I certainly don't want to take the time to open these all up in Photoshop and run them through Actions. I want to do that right through InDesign. And that's, again, where Album Flow makes a difference. We'll come right up here and select Run Photoshop Action. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite black and whites, uh, Totally Rad Actions. A little shout out to them. Uh, we'll go with this one here. And I modified the antique tone. I made that like 10%. I just want a hint of warmth. In fact, you can just mix and match all day long on these things. Add them up, click OK. And the smart thing about the script is it's not working on these images. It's actually going to duplicate them all. So we're going to run the actions on copies of all the images and then we'll store them right next to the originals in the same folder. Now that way, if we want to come back uh, maybe a day or two later, the bride says, oh, I'm not feeling that you know, black and white. Can you turn it to color? No problem. Um, we don't have to redesign anything or go hunting for the originals. We'll just go ahead and relink the originals and the black and white will still be there if we want to go back again. So in fact, let's go ahead and go into uh, Bridge and take a look at that. So you see the thumbnails are still selected, and next to each one now is the black and white image. So really easy to go back and link to if we need to in the future. Now, looking at this spread, we might be thinking, hey, this is great. You know, maybe I want to use this as a template in the future. One of the best features of InDesign, and I see, I see very few photographers using this, and, and it is the library system here. It's the best way to store templates. So we'll just select a library here, create one, click Save. Now, this is where uh, Album Flow comes in. I'm going to select these frames and watch this. We'll go to Album Flow, click Add to Library. And what it's doing is actually counting all the images, creating a nomenclature, and delineating them. So we have a, a horizontal, a vertical, square, a spread, or they're all over a spread. And we just click OK, and it stores it right here in our library. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to go to an empty spread. And I'll right click on this library item here and place it. And let's go ahead and add a little color so we can follow along. And we can see um, perfect precision comes up here. And most importantly, we got flexibility. In fact, we might just want to uh, you know, change this a little bit, maybe kind of bring it up this way and um, bring this one that way. So I'll go ahead and select these again. And I'm going to center them, set spacing, keyboard shortcut. And in no time at all, I've got another template. So let me go ahead and zero out the color. Um, we'll go to Add to Library. And it's going to count and delineate again. And before, you notice where we had these squares? Now they're vertical, because these images here are vertical. So you know, click OK. In fact, you know, not to belabor the point, but I could go ahead and merge this. You know, now we've got um, another one. So we just go, you know, back to album flow, add to library. And you'll see that when designing, before you know it, you're going to have a ton of these templates. And the best thing about them is they can serve as a writer's block. So you have a handful of images. You go searching through your, your templates to see, hey, what you've used in the past. And these templates are reflecting your style, not someone else's. And so they come out pretty much ready for, you know, what you like to do. And then, of course, you can quickly and easily tweak them. 
And the beauty of the tweaks is that you have that precision. So speaking, by the way, of uh, writer's blocks, let me delete this here. Let's suppose you have a handful of images and you're just not sure what to do with them. And maybe you've got, uh, let's say, half a spread and you want to just work on a page and handful. Maybe you have like three images. So let's go ahead and uh, select Create Random Frames. And we've got four here, so we'll just go ahead and leave that there. Uh, click OK. This is going to be completely random. So it's a template that will come up to give you an idea. And if you like it, great. If you don't, merge the frames and do it again. But let's go ahead and take what we got here and uh, we'll add a little color. I think you'd see it better if I put a little orange in there. And let's go ahead and set some spacing. And then go ahead and use some uh, the gap tool here. Maybe move this over a little bit. You're thinking, hey, I think I like that. Um, make these two like, well, I'll come, I'll put that one back and maybe merge them up like this or down. But you see, it just kind of gives you an idea of something to work with and you can do it over and over and over again. And in fact, something else, um, as far as flexibility of change, you notice how these three are similar. And if I wanted to use these, truthfully, I think I'd want them to be all equal. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and merge with the keyboard shortcut. And then I'm gonna go up to um, uh, make a grid and I'm just gonna go three across. I don't even have to put a number for down and I just click okay. So there we have, um, you know, a little template set up. In fact, you can take little parts like this, little things you might use often and use that to add to your library. OK, so then in the future, um, let me just go ahead and delete this and we'll bring it back out again. You know, in the future, you might need that and it might be a different size album. You could like reduce it in size, center it, reset the spacing. You see how it works now? makes it really fast. It flows. No pun intended. Album flow flows. And that's what it's all about. You want to focus on your creativity and your design, not the mechanics of putting the album together. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions about album flow, uh, go to albumflow.com. My name is Braxton. I'll be happy to, to help you out. In fact, if you have a question about InDesign, even if you haven't bought the scripts, you're not even a customer, I don't care, um, hit me up, ask me a question. I love the program and I love to help people with it. All right, thanks a lot.